we're going to talk about now is foundation training. Many times I like to take my dogs back to the beginning because now I have a better relationship and I have a better understanding of what I have to do. So now it's time to go back to the beginning because you can understand what your goals are now. In the beginning, when we started target training, you did the target training where a lot of people fall into this, where they think the goal of this exercise is to have my dog touch a target. Exactly. So that's one of many goals. The true goal of that exercise is to start to establish a relationship with that dog. You're learning how to communicate with the dog in a language that the dog speaks. Most people that are horrible trainers or can't work with dogs with, with really primitive instincts and a brain try to make the dogs conform to them. They try to make it so this is my house, so you're going to do it my way. But a dog with primitive instincts is going to say, mm, guess again. You've worked with a dog with primitive instincts. It's not easy to do. You, you have to earn your way into the family. You have to earn your way up to the pecking order. There's a lot of rules that they have in their world that we don't see the same as far as a value on them. And if we break those rules with them, unlike humans, when we break rules, it's like, yeah, you know, it's a little rule, no big deal. Uh, for them, that's everything. That's, that's survival for them. So today we're going to go ahead and work with target training from the aspect of already knowing what we're supposed to do. We've done it before, but now we're going to put the polish and shine on it to make it even more effective uh, now than it was before. Okay? Mm -hmm. The rule of target training is simple to complex. Simple means that it's a very low surface not necessarily bright, vibrant color, um, not any real texture to mm -hmm. it, because the level of difficulty could be a brighter color, the level of difficulty could be a more complex texture, the level of difficulty could be higher off the ground. Um, as we start adding these things, the, the target becomes more complex. Yeah. So keep it simple, keep it short, right. make it fun. You know, these are the things that are gonna motivate them to want to do it. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to go over to this table All right. and we're going to pick out what you feel is a simple target to start your dog off with. So as we come through here, we got all kinds of different targets right here. So from what I mentioned, okay, so you're saying this is target number one to start with. Yes. Okay. How much texture does this have? A lot. Okay. So do it this way. Ooh, so here it's smooth. Right. Okay. How high is this off the ground? It's pretty high. How stable is this? Not stable. Okay. So we'll start with a flat one. There simple, you go. Simple to, okay, simple. Yep. Okay, so now we have this target here, which has a texture on this side, and it's smooth on this side. What side do we want? Smooth side. Yes. And then after the dog is comfortable with the smooth side, do we go to this target? You flip it over. Flip it over. Yeah. Now we have texture. Yes. So something that simple could cause a dog to refuse that. When the dog looks at it, the lights hit it. Because of the texture on that, it reflects and shines, shadows, all kinds of stuff like that. That could cause a dog with super primitive instincts or even a puppy to look at that and say, oh, I don't know if I want to touch that. In order for them to touch that, they have to respect you and they have to trust you. If they don't respect or trust you, then they may say, you know what, our relationship isn't at that level right there. Now, Javi's going to touch this with no problem because he respects you and he trusts you. But if you think back to the days when you first started this, he may not have touched this if he didn't trust you that this was okay. And I started with these right And here. you started with these. Because they're the ones I saw yeah. at that 10-day workshop, right. and it didn't work. And it didn't work. No, it didn't work. Look at how high that is. Yes. And look at the texture on that. And yes. if you try to turn it over to the smooth surface, how unstable is that? Very. Yes. So these are the things right. that people need to understand, and you need to understand with this dog. So here, when you go back, 
you go, this is going to be simple. You get confidence, the dog gets confidence. Will Javi do this? I think he'll do those. Yeah, not now a problem. Now he will, yes. Okay. So maybe going from this target here to what would be the next target you would pick? Probably the slick side of this one. Yeah, yeah. I would go to the smooth side yes. of this one. Okay, and then after the smooth side of this one, flip it over. Flip it over. Now we have texture. Yes. What would we do after that? Oh, let's see here. We could do the smaller bumps here. Okay, that's pretty similar to this. It is. Well, we're going to do the slick side of this. Okay, a little bigger target. Yeah. Okay, so that'll be our third target. Okay, right. so I'll put this in the shopping okay. cart over here. <laughs> All right, so what are we going to do after that? Uh, let's see here. How about... Flick okay. out of this one. Pretty close to this one right here. Yeah. So I so. want something a little bit tougher than that. All right. How about the bigger, the larger one here? The That's bigger. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and we're going to set this target up here. Right. right inside the ring with the smooth side. And I'm going to have you have him touch that. Okay. Then we're going to flip that over so he touches the other side. Okay. Okay. Then we're going to come over to this target here. And let's say this target, we're going to use the smooth side. Sure. Perfect. Okay. All right. Yes. Then we'll come over to this target here and we'll use that side. Okay. Okay. Then we'll come over to this target here and use the smooth side. All right. Then let's go ahead and flip that over and do that side. Okay. Then let's take that target there and let's put that right here on the smooth side and then do, we're going to flip it over okay. to the other side. All right. Now, when you're leading your dog to your target, these are some things that are really important. First of all, we want to guide them with our palm direction. Okay. So we're leading them to the target here. Then we want to turn our palm around so we tell the dog to stay. Because we don't want them to touch that target on their own. We want to get in front of the target, bring our palm towards the direction of the target, lean forward, walk backwards, and stand once they hit that target. By doing that, we're teaching our, the body language to tell them to come and stay. So we're using our hand for communication. Mm -hmm. We're using our body for communication. All right. This is going to be the foundation for everything that's going to come in the future of confirmation, obedience, agility, all that right there. All right. And as we start going to more complex targets, what's going to happen is these more complex targets are going to start building our trust and our relationship with these dogs so that once we are fully connected, we can go off and do confirmation, obedience, agility, rally, and it'll be spectacular because the dog will have that motivation, they'll have that enthusiasm, everything to want to work. So let's talk about praise when okay. it hits targets. We don't want to focus on the skill. We want to focus on fun. Okay. So everything's fun, good energy, exciting, right, happy. Okay. If he touches that target with his paw, yes. what you intend for him to do, yes. yes, you mark it. All right. That lets the dog know that he did something spectacular. Okay. If, you, if he touches to the side, good, good. We still want to praise him. Right. And people think that's wrong, but you want to encourage them. So you praise them, and they're kind of like, oh, maybe this is a little fun. But if they do it exactly the way you want, mark it. Okay. Yes. And then praise and give a reward after that. All okay. Right. Was and that helpful? Giving that? rewards every, at every stop? At every single stop. Okay. Because even if he doesn't do it perfectly, then what we're going to do is we're going to encourage them to, wow, this is kind of fun. This is cool. This is foundation. This is what's going to get okay. us connected with this dog and earn our way into the family and earn our way up to the top of that pecking order right there. Okay, after you're done there, let's give him a trophy treat, trophy right. toy, and head him back to the crate. You wanna walk the course? Yes, please. Okay, go ahead.
me. Stop. One, two, three, stop. Nice. Yes. Stop. One, two, three, stop. Yes. Great. Three. Come right here. Stop. Good. One, two, Good signals. Three, stop. Very One, nice. Two, three, stop. Yes. Do it again. Let's go right here. Stop. One, two, three, stop. Yes. Beautiful. Four. All right, come on. Let's go. One more time. Come on. Stop. One, two, three, stop. Yes. Remember, big smile to let him know that you're happy. Yes, sir. No eye contact so you're not disrespecting him. And great communication. Yes. Your, and make that energy level high. Do you have? Yep. Head straight. Oh boy, yes. Head straight. Oop. Ah. Good job. Come on, Holly. Here we go. Stop. One, two, three. Yes. Good job, Holly. Okay. Yes. Timing. Yes. He stepped on it. There was like maybe a half a second or more All before right. you marked that. All right. Yes, Javi. Beautiful. Yes. yes. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Beautiful. Come on here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, come this way. Come on. Yes, sir. Come on. Right here. One. Stop. Boop. Yes. Very nice. Yes. Right. One, two, three, four. Come here. Yes. Good job. Come on. That's gorgeous. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay. Nice. Ready? All right. You like this? All right. Follow me. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Yes, Harvey. Yes. Good. Come on, me. Pop up. Pop up. Harvey. Stop. Yes. Okay, a little late with your yes. Over here. Um, pop it. Yeah. yeah. So you didn't stop no. him quick enough. Oh, okay. So good. just say good boy. Good dog. Good yes. dog. Yes. yes. Good boy. Good boy. Good okay. boy. Okay, and then hit your other target. Come on, right here. Come right here. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Stop. Yep. Ha. Good correction. Yes. Okay, a little slow on yes. your yes. There you Good go. job, though. Right. Okay, let's take him down right the here. line. All right, Javi, look at me. Look at me right here. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Woo -hoo. Come on, buddy. Yes, yes, yes. Whee wow, that was yeah. fantastic. Good job, buddy. Good job, good job. Yes. So compare what you did there, which was pretty complex with all those targets, to the first time you started target training. Oh, isn't, there is no comparison. Yeah. It's still a lot to think through, uh -huh. but the more I do, and the more that I'm here with you, uh, every every time I'm around a ring, it's better. Yeah. And it's like, okay, you have the things at home that you have here, but to see, oh, okay, this is how I use it. So. If you keep him engaged, if you are communicating properly with your dog, nothing else matters. You, you find, I find myself wanting to do it just right, and that's like, oh, check out time. It's short, quick motions at every station. He's got to have fun. Right. You've got to focus more on him having fun than you doing the task correctly. Because you're going to reward him either way. If he does it exactly the way you want, which you created that, yes! And that mark has to be spot on when that happens. If he doesn't do it exactly the way you want, and that's on the trainer. Right. If the trainer didn't ask correctly, when that communication's not there yet, or you were wishy-washy with the communication, that means that's something for you to improve on, but he didn't do anything wrong. Mm -hmm. So still, good boy. That we're not gonna sense. mark yes. it with a yes, but we're gonna mark it with a good, good boy. boy. You know, that's yes, I'm you know, really happy with what you're doing there. It frustrates me because I wanna do it just right. And but I'm you're not frustrating there yet. him. No, I'm not. You're yeah. right. You're right. So you have to you have to say, okay, we're we like 
what you did today, you were not capable of doing six months from now or six months ago. Oh, I agree. Six months from now, you'll be at another level and another level and another level and you'll just keep growing with your dog. But people don't understand. They think that when you take a dog that has, that, that looks like every other dog, that they're all gonna be easy to train. This dog is not easy to train because you have to earn respect and trust first. When you first did this six months ago, you, you didn't have respect and trust. You had a dog living with you at a home that you fed, you took potty, you loved, but he didn't respect and trust you because you didn't know how to build that yet. Right. We want to make this more complex, what you have here. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go out and spend any more money. We don't want to go out and buy a whole new set of tools. So what do you think that you could do to use the same targets without spending a fortune buying more difficult targets, but make it a little more complex? So why don't we do this? We're going to have less targets, but we're gonna make them more complex. Okay. I want you ah. to get two front paws. Okay. On a, one on a smooth texture. Oh, okay. One on, a, on more texture. Okay. okay. So this is target one. one. All right. So we're gonna bring this cone over and we're gonna make this target number two. All right. I want you to do the same thing here. So here you have, let's, let's come at it this angle. All right. Okay. So you're going to have him stand on this, both front paws, two different textures right there. Okay. And where's his butt? That way? So his butt's over there. All right. So I'm, so I'm going to bring him here like this and put his, both of his feet one yep. each. He's going to put them both on one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he's going to do. Well, he's going to try to do that. Yeah. It's up to you to maneuver your okay. body and hand right. position okay. to get one on each side. All right. Okay. So then we're going to come over here. This is going to be target number three now, not target number five. And we're going to do front and rear paws. Ooh. Okay. Isn't that right. cool? Yes. So we're going to put rear paws on the back. All right. And front paws on the front. Okay. Okay. Yes. So that's target number three. So now we're going to come over to right. four. So we're going to replace this. This is now target number four. And let's take this. and do the same thing. All right. So this one we're gonna flip. So his butt's facing that way over there. This time we're gonna have his butt facing this way. And we're gonna have him front paws, rear paws. Okay. And this is target number four. All right. So we'll put this right there. And then this now becomes target number five and we won't change anything with this. Okay, yes, let's yes, go ahead is. and walk it. All right, let's do it. Boy, it's a boy right here. Come on, let's get right here. Let's get right here. Right, I'll be head straight. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it like this. Stop. Okay, come on. Stop. Okay. Stop. Yes. Good. All right. Four. Let's go right here. Stop. Slow. Slow. Very nice. Stop. Four. All right. And you, I'm coming here. Stop. Come. 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 Ooh, come. good maneuvering. All right. There. Right. And then we're going to say, and that's it. I say, all right, come on. So we go anyway like this. Ooh, good job. Go here. Yes. That's four. Good job. Come on, boy. Yes. Stop. Up, 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 up. 
Yes, Javi. Good job. Okay. So that should two. be good. Not okay. yes. So in order to get him to stand on that right there, right. look at me for a second. So you need to widen your stance as All you're right. doing this to try to and twist your body to get him to stand right. on those targets. You want to give it another shot? Yeah, sure. Okay. Come on, let it get. All right. Let's do it again right here. Turn. Yes, yes. Javi! <laughs> that was phenomenal! Yes, sir. <laughs> good job, Did buddy. that feel good? It did. Yes, it did! It that did. That was it did. awesome! Oh, Disney, oh, oops. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Follow me. Yes, Javi! Yes! Beautiful job. Yes, yes. Good Beautiful. Job. Hey, yes. Okay, next target. Follow me. Come on. Bop, bop, bop. The other way. Oops, come this way. Come. Come here. Stay. That's pretty close. Pretty close. All right, Swing him you. wider. That's a boy. Come. Up. Stay. Stay. Come to me. Stop. A little more. Yes, Javi. Good. good job. So that should be a That's good. That's a good, good, good. Because he just did the front. And then what we'll do is we'll know for next time to put those targets closer together. Okay. Okay. So All go right. ahead and put, take him down the ladder. Come on. Let's go right here. Follow me. Here. Javi, look at me, right here. Yes. All right, let's go. Yay. Come on, buddy. Woohoo. Beautiful Good job. job. Yes. yes, sir. Yes, sir. There you go. All right. Go inside. Tell me about this run here. Well, it was more complex, but it's doable. It's doable. It's all doable. Yeah. Especially when you have a dog that's smart. But who's the one that's in charge of telling the dog what to do? It's me. Yes. And I have to totally understand it, not just try to schmooze through it. Right. If you have a dog that's too narrow like this, and you need it to stand a little further apart, or even a dog that's built correctly, but for some reason stands like this, if you step, step, and rock while you're stepping, you'll get that dog to step absolutely okay. perfect. You controlled that. That was beautiful. We want to up our game, All right. but we don't want to make it too complex right now. Okay. So what if we were just to do rear feet on here? Okay. Okay? All right. So we'll do rear feet there. So let's do rear feet here. And let's really? see, we're going to go to this store and we're going to buy a couple more targets. All right. We're going to buy these little turtle targets here. We're going to make this one a little more difficult. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to get him to touch front paws there. Okay. And then invite him up a second time to get him to touch front paws here and rear paws here. Then we're going to come over here and let's buy two more turtles and let's do the same thing right here. All right. And this is coming facing this way. that way oh we're facing that way okay so i'm bringing him around just to, to do two feet here yep the front feet here front and feet then, there and then come and go over and then try to get rear on there okay if he does it great if he does it then good boy if right. he does it perfectly yes okay. so after you do that you can bring him over here back up from this corner turn and go and take him out out of the ring all right. You got to remember when you're backing up, he's going to be following you so he can step over that. When you see these paws coming up off the ground, yeah. As soon as it starts to go down, you need to stand up like this so you can control where these front paws stop. That's front. Okay. Yep. And then you're going to tell him to stay and then you're going to lean forward, walk backwards and try to get his front paws here, but time it so you get that rear paw. Uh, try to get at least one of those. Okay. Okay? So, stop. Look at me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Come a little more. A little more. <gasps> Good. Good. Stop. Let's turn this one. Boop. 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 Not good. Stop. Boop. Let's 
to the So side. you're getting them too I'm close. I'm getting too ahead. That's right. I see. Come on. Pop, 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 pop. All right. Come on. Let's go right here. Javi, look right here. Yes. Up. Up. Boop. Well, come on through right here. Come on. This one's ours. <gasps> this step. Over. Over. Pop, pop. Over. Don't worry about that. There you go. There you go. Turn to me. Yes. Stay. Whoops. One, two, <laughs> three. Come on, we'll do it. All right, come on right here. Whoop. Mess it all together. That's all right. Come on. Here. Let's come right here with me. Come on. Yes, let's go on. Yeah. Let's do this. Yeah. We got it. We did it. Woohoo. Yay. <laughs> Yay. Good job. Really? Good job, Holly. So tell me how you felt that went. Uh, it went well because I knew I knew it was something new that was it's going to take time to practice. But we did it. There was you need to make it fun and, the and stop right. focusing on the test. Right, exactly, exactly. You, you, so and if it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, it'll hit the next time. Right, yeah. yeah. It, it went exactly the way it should be at the stage that you and this dog are at right now. I agree 100%. <laughs> yes. And as you start to get more comfortable with him and he gets more comfortable with you, then you'll start to be able to say, you know what, I'm starting him too close. I'm not setting him up for right. success. I need to back him up. I need to bring him in straighter. I need to not have him at an angle like this and then try to do that. You're gonna learn all these little things that say, okay, this is gonna make this task a little simpler. But we just took the same targets, not a lot of different targets, and made from absolute basic simple to the complexity that was so complex, it's gonna take you a while to get this. So without spending a ton of money on all the stuff you see in the Eric Salas videos, I mean, there's a ton of stuff on that table over there. There's all kinds of stuff. And when people watch the Eric Salas videos on YouTube, they're like, ooh, that looks fun. I got to buy this and I got to buy that and I got to buy this. And it's like, no, what you need to do is, is exhaust your resources on the simple stuff here. Then... Think about what you need to get to make it just a little more complex and then just a little more complex. So I want to do something since we already have these targets here. We're not going to add any more targets to it. I want to come into the ring and we're going to do one last thing. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing here. Try to do rear feet. Okay. We're going to do the same thing here. Try to do rear feet. Okay. But now we're going to change stage three. to a gating exercise. Oh boy, okay. So this gating exercise is gonna be all about communication. Okay. So you're coming into this turn, you gotta shake your hand. All right. Turn your palm facing that way to tell your dog you're gonna make this turn. As you're making this turn, what I want you to do is we're gonna have this target here, so stand over there so you can see. Okay. So we're gonna have this target here, and I want you to take him through and make him go to that side of the target. So it's like looking at your watch, going that way. Now, I always want to train my dogs to hit these targets like this with the first one on that left shoulder. Okay. If we want to go on to agility later on, they're already set up for success because that's the way you enter into the weave poles right here. Okay. So we're going to go like this. This next target, I'm going to set so here. So we're not doing these targets, correct? We right. don't need those. Okay. Okay. We're just going around that one to yep. the left. So now he's over here. Yes. So I'm going to shake my hand and I'm going to bring him this way. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shake my hand. Let's put one of those targets right here. Let's put the yellow one right here, right at the tip of my toe. All right. Okay, and let's get the purple one. I know what we're doing. We're going think, think. And we're going to put okay. that at the tip of my toe. All right. Okay. So you're going to weave through here. So we'll come over here after trying to do the back feet there, and I'm going to signal left. Correct. He's going to go over. Shake. Now, you're not going to come through here this side. You're going to stay on that side. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Left. Weave over. Shake. Weave back. 
Shake, weave over, shake, then you're gonna bring him into this corner. All right. Back up from the corner, shake your hand, turn and go. Shake your hand, turn. Good. Beautiful. 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 Nope. 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 So you're gonna bring him into that corner. Into this corner, like like this, correct? Yeah, so face your palm into that corner. Like this? Yep. Now go into that corner. Now walk backwards, turn and go. Okay. So what happened is when you were in that corner, look at me. Okay, I'm sorry. When you were in that corner, your body was twisted like this. I have to be totally yep. square. Yep, and so you. when you backed up, you backed up at an angle and it threw you to this side. Okay. So it puts you, it sets you up for not success. If you square yourself up with that corner and you back up and you step away from your hand, your dog will be right down the center of this lane. Right, right into that corner, square yourself up. You're, that's much better. Ooh, let's go do it. I'm gonna wear this hat. Go on. Oh, and let's see if Hobby notices this right. and if Lynn picks me. up. Stop. Come with me right here. Come with me. Ah. Good boy. Come with me. Press me. Stop. Ah. Ah. Come with me. You got to be under control ah. a little more. Good. Okay, get those rear feet. Come with me a little more. Good. Good, 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 Hobby. That was pretty much a yes yeah. on that okay. one, so let's see if we Come get on, that baby. next one. He's looking at me. Ah. You good. need to tell him good. Good, 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 Javi, good. Gate through there. Okay, you're moving slow and creepy. I am creepy. All right, yes. Um, I am. <laughs> yes, good yes. job. That's the best part. I was doing function but not having fun with it not a whole yes. lot of fun going on good job Bobby. so i added a little level of difficulty to that exercise can you <laughs> guess what that is you put yourself in there i've been in there the whole time yeah well uh let's see here what was the level of difficulty hmm your hat yeah oh, okay <laughs> i didn't notice it <laughs> <I> didn't. <laughs> but hobby was telling you Something's different. He was, but he wasn't growling. No, he didn't growl. No, right. Yeah, but he was like, okay, something's a little that's different right here. That's why I was looking at you. Yes. Yes. That's why he was looking at me. So this is why I tell my students that a distraction could be sight, scent, or sound. And if you just simply have somebody standing around wearing a hat and they want to focus on that, you're trying to learn leader earn leadership here right. by going ah and making that correction you're telling them i got this you pay attention here this is where all the fun is at right there but that being said you got to make that fun when you say this is where the fun is you can't be slow and creepy <laughs> and i was doing like you like that you're you're, right. you're, you're yes. like and now we're going <laughs> to the next Target. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I was. And so. And what I was doing is trying to make sure I was concentrating on the function, not having fun. And not having fun. Okay. So your homework assignment tonight. All right. Is you need to find simple to complex. All right. You need to make it extremely fun. And I need you to focus on what this exercise is all about. It's all about you learning how to communicate in a language that he already understands. When you tell him correctly, he'll put those front paws on there. When you tell him correctly, he'll put those rear paws on there. And the exercise is not just him putting those paws on, but it's putting you in a leadership position because now you're saying, this is what I, the leader, wants you to do. Okay. 
And when he does it correctly, yes, you mark it with great energy, you mark it with that great enthusiasm, and he's like, yes, I'm pumped, let's go do another yeah. one. But if you go, hey, good job, then he's like, seriously, you're gonna pay me with that shiny new penny right there? I want a hundred dollar bill. I want to see dead presidents like Benjamin Franklin. So you've got to put that enthusiasm in there. And, and if you're not guiding him correctly, if you're not communicating correctly. And I'm not, and that's, I know, but I know that I can. It's just muscle yes, memory it, and it, getting it, used to you've it. You've got yes. to do this without him. Yeah. And so if you're not guiding him correctly and he doesn't hit that mark exactly the way you want, it's on you. You set me up to show me what I need to do. Yes. And so you're not going to not praise him because you asked incorrectly. So you're going to say, good boy, good yeah, boy. Okay. You did exactly what I wanted you to do. All right. You did exactly what I told you to do. Let me correct that. When he does it perfectly, that's because you asked perfectly. And that's when you mark that with a yes. You're saying, I want you to remember exactly what you just did. And it's on you to remember how you asked that. Now, after doing this for a few months and you got a good foundation, then you can start adding super complex targets, all kinds of fun stuff in there. Then you can go on Amazon.com and go, okay, let's go Christmas shopping <laughs> and get all these cool stuff. And then with the online communication, I'll say, try this with that, try that with that. Okay. And then you post videos to the masterclass and they'll go, wow. She's taken such a simple target and she's turned it into something that really has impact on that relationship with you and that dog. That's what these targets are about right there. It's not just touch, touch, touch. Because I see people all the time where they take the leashes and they drag them to a target and they walk the dog over so the foot steps on it and they call that success. But that's not success. You're staring at your dog, disrespecting. You're pulling up tight on that lead, disrespecting. And then you're dragging the dog over there. And when it touches, what does the dog think it accomplished? Nothing. Nothing. No. Yeah, you're just dragging it around. Yeah, and it. that is what you see going on in the confirmation ring. People dragging their dogs all the way around. There's no expression out of these dogs. There's no, nothing where the judges can see that there is a brain between those ears. And the handlers, and when I say handlers, it doesn't have to be a pro, but the handlers that are fun, that are getting the excitement, getting the enthusiasm, those dogs are standing out. The judges are smart. The judges can see length of bone, angle of bone, texture on coat, skin, angles of planes on the head, the stop, the bite, all those, they can see that during the exam. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. What they can't see is the enthusiasm. They can't see the intelligence. They can't see the focus. They can't see all these other things because these people are stringing their dogs up, staring at them in the eyes and just making these dogs say, I don't want to be here. And that's how you can perfectly lose at a dog show. <laughs> <laughs> something this simple can totally change that exercise we did not change any of those targets out there all we did is take somebody and put a hat on and that totally changed the yeah. focus of your dog which is going to make you work harder so um, you could have distractions of sight scent and, and sound. sound if i'm making weird noises over there he's going to try to focus on me you have to learn how to get him back. Somebody could sit outside the ring and try to mess you up with your dog just by going like that. Right. Or as they go by, they can be going like this, trying to cool themselves off and they're not really cooling themselves off. That's why it's important that if you're going to go to a dog show, I'm going to teach you how to prepare that dog for as many possibilities of distractions that you could find. Good idea. <laughs> Did we learn anything today? Yeah, we did. Okay, good. We really did. Good. Thank you very much for an amazing day. I feel really good about today. And I thank you too. I do. My name is Eric Sellers, and I got my own way. He's Eric Sellers, and he's got his own way. My name is Eric Sellers, 
And I do my own thing He's Eric Sellis and he does his own thing His name is Eric Sellis And he'll help you in the ring He's Eric Sellis and he'll help you in the ring My name is Eric Sellis You got to believe in your dog Your dog's the best, most beautiful dog in the world My name is Eric Sellis do target training with your dog With target training you're the cookie for your dog Use beer and eggs to bathe with For the beauty of your dog Beer and eggs for the beauty of your dog My name is Eric Sellers Your palm will talk to your dog Lean over to walk backwards Stand up to stack your dog My name is Eric Sellers Gets attention from your dog Don't you look down, don't you dare look down at your dog To be successful, you got to connect with your dog His name is Eric, he'll teach you harmony with your dog His name is Eric Sellers, you got to sell it to the judge You got to vent away to the judge His name is Eric Sellers Good gate square up and head straight. Good gate square up and head straight with your dog. You got to know the breed standard to truly understand your dog. With Eric's training, you'll find harmony with your dog. His name is Eric Sellers. Eric says he got the dog. Eric says he got the dog. Eric says. Eric says he got the dog. Eric says.